actually here in Sydney today for just one night and I thought I'll bring you guys along with me. I arrived this afternoon and the main reason why I'm here is to go check out the new JD Sports store on Pitt Street. So the event starts at 6 o'clock tonight so I still have some time to go eat some food. So the first stop is Boba in Surrey Hills. <laughs> So I just got ready and I thought I'll show you guys my outfit quickly. How far do I have to stand here? Hopefully you guys can see. I can't tell. The room is really dark but I'm wearing this Nike Martin Rose shirt and then I just got like a tank top and my little skirt or like shorts, skirt, <laughs> is from Zara and I'm wearing the Future Dream Amex one. I'm gonna go check out the new JD Sports store now. There's also gonna be a workshop there that's gonna be on till the 6th so you guys should check it out if you're in Sydney but I'm really excited and also I heard that they will be dropping some previously released Jordans and Dunks so I'm so excited to see what they have. Hopefully I can cop some new shoes. We'll see. This is the workshop and you can pretty much customize these little bags and you can do like carabiners. You can also pick what kind of patches you want. So they're all here. It is actually really, really cute. There's so much to pick from. Look at this. And then also there are these key rings and I think they're so cute. So you can pick which key rings that you want to go on the bag. And then, there's more actually, I should have just showed you guys this bit because it's probably easier for you guys to see all the options that you can pick. And then once you've selected all the patches that you want, you can heat press it and then you have your bag. I'll show you guys some of the ones that they've done. So these are the examples that they have. It's pretty cute. I actually already done one. Let me show you guys which ones I did. So this is the one that I did, guys. I kind of panicked. I didn't know what I wanted on my bag, so I just chose a bunch of random patches. But I think it turned out pretty cute. And then I ended up getting two of these keychains and a little carabiner. So it's just a little pouch. I'm gonna put my makeup in here, I think. For dinner, I decided to go to Amuro, which is a sake bar in Darlinghurst. I love all the cute little figures that they had. I think that's such a nice touch. I also thought the menu looked super cute because it's handwritten and I think they changed their menu weekly because on the top there it says week 23. This is the tomato and shiso. It looks so simple but it was so yummy and refreshing. I also got the kingfish sashimi and of course I had to get karage chicken because I can't say no to fried chicken. I also got the grilled mochi and miso butter. Guys, this steak was amazing. It is the MB7 Plus Wagyu flank with wasabi soy and pickled onions. Highly recommend. And of course, I got the cheesy mentaiko rice because I love anything that's mentaiko, which is a cod roll, and it was very, very filling. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is a little dark here but I got a slice of pizza from Odie's. They had so many different ones to choose from but they didn't have any labels on them so I wasn't sure what was what. So I ended up going for the spicy Hawaiian. It's a pretty decent slice. So let's try this. I'm actually not that hungry. I also got a matcha this morning from Edition Roasters. It is much sweeter than I like but it's okay let's try this mm. 
I think the concept of the store is really good. Pizza's okay. <laughs> I feel like I've had much better pizza. But for a takeaway pizza, it's pretty decent. Um, but maybe I'm just used to like the pizzas that we have in Melbourne. It's such a nice sunny day here in Sydney and I'm just sitting here first of all i'm very full so i didn't show you guys before i ate that pizza i actually had some pastries before the pizza but i couldn't wait so i didn't vlog it but it was from load i went there in april and it was so good i think that's probably my favorite beef pie highly recommend that place so actually i already ate that before the pizza and that is why i'm so full so i'm just sitting here but i actually went past ap place they have a spot in surrey hills which again i went to so much when i was here in april they have the city spot and it was so busy there was a massive line i think they do like sandwiches and like baked goods so i only ended up getting two little things so one of them was the salt and vinegar hash brown which was really yummy and then I also got a chocolate licorice tart which I will save for later so yeah I'm really full so I'm just sitting here and I don't know where to go like I still have time so I'm wondering whether I should have some lunch even though I'm full but then I'm here do you guys know what I mean so if I do end up going somewhere I will show you guys what I have I'm thinking of maybe Thai food or Japanese I don't know We'll see. Thought I'll show you guys what the pop up looks like during the day because it was a little bit dark yesterday. But this is it. Pretty cute. I was walking around the city for a little bit, but I didn't buy anything. And I'm still full, but I decided to go to one more place before I go to the airport. And it's called Otogo. And I'm just in an Uber now. It's like 10 minutes away from the city, which is not too far. So let's go get. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. It's really shaky i want to get an onigiri for the road and i don't know we'll see what else they have so i just got some little takeaway i got an ikura one this is probably hard for me to show you guys and then this one is a salmon onigiri and then I got a yuzu soda as well. So I'm out here trying to tell you guys I'm really full. I ate one onigiri and I couldn't help myself but to get this mini little Calpico vanilla soft serve. It's very small, very cute. Let's try it. Mm. It's refreshing. I'm very full but it still tastes good. Mm. I'm back home now obviously and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it was a little short but I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to in Sydney and all the food that I ate. I feel like when I was editing the video it didn't look like I ate that much. Does it look like that much to you guys? It doesn't look that much but I was very full the whole time I was in Sydney. Also about that JD Spot workshop, I don't think I mentioned this but I think you have to purchase a Nike product to be able to participate no that's not a word to be able to like customize a bag um and there's also t-shirts if i'm not mistaken but i only ended up doing the bag and i wanted to show you one little change i did to the bag you know how previously i said i was going to use it as a makeup bag but you can also attach this rope so you can use it as like a crossbody bag i think the rope is actually like really fun so it's attached on one side with this carabiner and then on the other side they just put this little keyring loop i actually think it looks really cool with the rope detail and obviously you can remove it if you don't want to use it as a bag but yeah guys i hope you guys go check out that workshop hopefully by the time i post this video there's still time for you to go because today's already saturday hopefully i can get this video posted up soon but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye